Cultural refresh of the Cook Islands Road. Uh, the Cook Islands Road are uh, also known in English as uh, stilts, and uh, we use these back in the days when uh, there's any traditional sports, these were included inside. Two sections there's one that's the racing section and the uh, fighting section. Uh, some islands use it, for example, uh, Nakutoru. I believe Aitutaki uses it as well. Just the South Islands, eh? Yeah, mainly just the South Islands. I'm not really sure about the Northern group if they used it, eh? So back in the olden days, I believe our ancestors used this to walk along the corals just so their feet don't get hurt, don't get like um, don't get poked by the, um, by the corals, and yeah, it was pretty dangerous back then. So they used this to walk along the reef to make their way back to shore. And, and obviously, back in the days, you know, they, were, they were giants, and probably they won't use these sticks. They'll probably use Bigger, wider, but the same stick. Oh, for me, maybe like two years ago, I just learned how to use this. But I think for this young lad, they grew up using this back in the island in Moke. This oh. guy's pretty good on it. I learned uh, Rory when I was at the age of eight and onwards, and it became part of a tradition for me. All right, so what we have here is uh, this is the main support of the the whole stilt for so where you put your feet there. So this is where you're going to be holding to control your balance as you're walking or fighting your opponent. The stick is made out of O, I'm not pretty sure what's the word in English. Out of this we also make costume but we're not on that. When you cut the stick down you gotta peel the skin off and you gotta dry it out for a few days and then so when it's dried out it's easier to nail without cracking. This is like a stick where it doesn't crack open. In this area we call it the, the ama. This is where you, um, you put your feet on. In some rode, you see there's, there are short like bottoms. So those ones are used for sprinting. And the longer ones, they're used for fighting. The main key of staying on top of it, obviously, is balancing yourself on the stick. So you're gonna have to have a pretty strong upper body and lower body to keep yourself on the stick for as long as you can. Just like, just like every other part in our culture, everything is important for traditions and customs and reviving it every time and teaching it to our young kids so that it may live longer and for them to know where they come from as well. <laughs> 